Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy B coming at you with a video here to read some of your YouTube comments that you left on one of my Michael Myers videos that I posted back in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. I was in front of the Party City here, um, not too far away from where I live at. This uh, video got 486,603 views. And there's a lot of comments on here too, so I thought I would take the time to read some of the comments on here. So, without further ado, let's have some fun and read some of these YouTube comments that you find people have left me. Starting with comment number one. Roar Imigator, the resemblance is striking. How many times did you need to watch and mimic the walk to get it correct? It's even got the small details, the scalpel raised to his waist. You see, there's a guy who pays attention to detail. Actually, to be honest with you, I've been watching Halloween ever since I was about uh, maybe five. Not because I wanted to, but because my older brother was really into Halloween. And um, I remember uh, back then, you could find a Bill Myers mask in like your local like Lucky's or you know, grocery store or drugstore for like 25 bucks or something like that, and it looked like movie quality back then. Now you can't. If you find, if you gotta find, if you look for a movie quality mask like the one that I have in this video, you have to go online. You can't find it. You're not gonna find it in Spirit. You're not gonna find it in Walmart. You're not gonna find it in Toys R Us. You're not gonna find a good Myers mask like movie quality in stores. You have to go online and uh, get one. And that's what I did. I actually went to uh, a website. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, I'll put a link in there. Uh, Cemetery Gates Production. CemeteryGateProductions.com, where um, there's a guy on there by the name of Terry Lambert who specializes in making uh, Dick Warlock Halloween 2 masks, which is why the mask I have on the video is so identical to the Dick Warlock shape. Um, that one was always one of my favorite masks. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Halloween, the first one, and I like that mask. But there was something about uh, Dick Warlock uh, when he played uh, Michael Myers that I really liked. Uh, uh, as I got older, I started to pay attention to detail. And I liked the way how the mask looked. So when I saw that, you know, he specialized in making the specific Dick Warlock fit, I had to jump on it. And it was worth every penny. And uh, I'm glad I got it. And yeah. So thank you, man. Appreciate that. Troll Mancaster. All these years, and Michael Myers still scares the shit out of me. The music just fits so damn good. Thank you very much. Michael Myers is a scary mofo. I have to agree. <laughs> Shadow Lord, what mask is that? Nice vid, I sub. Thanks for the sub, Shadow Lord, I appreciate that. Um, the mask is the Warlock uh, mask. Uh, like I just said about uh, a couple minutes ago, or not even a couple minutes ago, uh, you get the mask from cemeterygateproductions.com and you can place an order for a Warlock mask straight from there. Terry Lambert is awesome. He can make you one. Uh, you'll probably pay about, uh, they're about probably, I think, $235 uh, US, $235. Yeah, so, but you get what you pay for. It's movie quality. Uh, I don't, I've never seen a Warlock as detailed or as movie accurate as uh, the Cemetery Gate Productions ones. There's some other good ones I've seen. They're cool, but Terry has it down. Like, every single detail is on point, so. Cemetery Gate Productions. I highly recommend it. Tricky. Wow, you do the best Michael Myers I've seen. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that, Tricky. Takes a lot of uh, studying, and I uh, I love drama and acting. So what I do is if I'm going to play a character, I study them to a T. And I've had many years of studying Michael Myers, so I study them to a T. The walk, uh, just the mannerisms, just um, you know, because a lot of Michael Myers characters, you know, he doesn't talk. I mean, we all know that. So a lot of the uh, a lot of the acting that I have to do comes from his movements, the way how I walk, and it's not just a regular walk. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's kind of like a glide. You know, and if you watch Michael Myers, you see that he doesn't just walk like a regular person. He walks, but he walks with this like, like fluidity, because he's pure evil. He's not really a man. He's evil embodied in the shape of a man. So he doesn't move like normal people do. He just moves with the intent to kill. And so um, I've studied that, and uh, you know, even um, you know, just um, the breathing. I mean, everything. Like it's it's really something that I really take pride in, and I have fun playing him every single year. So thank you, appreciate that. 
Zach Woodard. This video had me crying. The first prank though. Oh man. Yeah, the first prank was... <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I felt bad, but I was in character, so I had to keep on going through with it. So, <laughs> Ultimate Perfect Cell. Hey, DBZ fan. Shout out to DBZ. I love DBZ. Ultimate Perfect Cell said, laugh my ass off, bro, when you scared that kid in the beginning. See, everyone keeps talking about the kid in the beginning. <laughs> That's what started it all, the kid in the beginning. Uh, uh, here we go, Tombstone Dreams. If you laughed at the 29 second mark, you're going to hell. <laughs> Why don't I remind you guys, or show those, if you haven't seen the video, um, I'll post that video in the description as well so that you can see the video that people are talking about. But why don't I share with you also, uh, if you haven't seen the scare that people are talking about, it's actually this scare right here that everyone keeps talking about. Right. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much uh, the scare that they're referring to. <laughs> Ooh, and it never gets old, oh my god. E-Money. This Mick Myers looked like he got a sexy, nice body. Instead of taking my heels off and running, I would have got his number. <laughs> it's like, I'm only kidding, but nice get up though. Thank you, I was gonna say, you would not want to stop and get Michael Myers' number because you would probably be dead because he's not interested in you. <laughs> but thank you though, appreciate the compliment. Peter Griffin, Michael Myers movie with a big booty. <laughs> Peter Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter. That's hella funny. Oh my god. And they put a peach too. <laughs> That's hella funny. Zubu Mafu in Books TM. What a name. Is this the Michael Myers from Halloween 2? Because Michael Myers has a scalpel, which is a weapon he used in a hospital when he was trying to find Lori, and these are the Halloween 2 themes. You're exactly right. This was the Halloween 2 version of Michael Myers. I had the Dick Warlock mask, and if you notice, I didn't carry a knife, I carried a scalpel, which is exactly the weapon that he did use when he was in a hospital chasing his sister, Lori Strode. So, way to pay attention to detail, that's perfect, and that's exactly spot on. You were spot on. So, that was uh, the Halloween 2 version of Michael Myers. The Boogeyman, ooh, another Boogeyman. <laughs> Prankster, you have real good attention to detail with that costume. Very accurate looking H2 coveralls with the warlock mask and scalpel. Great job. Thank you, Boogeyman, from one Boogeyman to another. I appreciate that. Uh, the scalpel and uh, the coveralls are just as important as the mask. Um, if I'm going to play a character, I like to go all out. I, I can't. I can't just have, like, nice coveralls and then get, like you know, the scalpel, and then get like a Walmart, you know, Michael Myers mask, or, or a Spear, a Halloween store, Michael Myers mask. Like, no disrespect to Spear, because I love Spear. I love the Spear store. But they just don't have the movie quality H2 Michael Myers mask, the one I was looking for. So, um, yeah, I, I go all out, and uh, like I said, every detail counts, and so I appreciate that. Boogeyman. Richard Luna, in my opinion, this is stupid. Good for you for having an opinion, buddy. You don't have to watch. The Crossface says, well done. You nailed every movement that Michael Myers does. Thank you very much. I really take pride in it. Like I said, it's uh, it's fun. It's, I, I love it. Like I said, I'll, I'll do it every year and go to a different location. Like um, I would even like to go to different locations, like not in my area, maybe for people. If you have requests, maybe you want me to come to your town, maybe you want me to come to your area and do this prank and you can film it and, um, you know, take pictures. It'll be fun. So I'm thinking about doing that, you know, maybe, maybe this year. We'll see. Boom, I got you, said the black hands ruined it for me. Michael Myers was white. I think we all know what color Michael Myers was. <laughs> but please answer me this. Do we not see people on Halloween dress up as characters that weren't the race that they were in a certain movie or cartoon or comic book all the time? Do we not see that? Yes, we do. So it's called, it's 
Stop being a closed-minded prick and just have fun with Halloween. That's it. Doesn't matter. I had fun with it. And you know what? The last thing that a lot of people were worried about was the color of my skin. They just saw Michael Myers. Yeah, because that's life. And I hope you're enjoying yours. Thanks for being a dipshit. Dave Hill, 406, looks like a spirit Halloween employee calling her supervisor or the cops, LOL. She definitely was calling the cops on me. <laughs> um, and if you see that scene where she comes out, she didn't even want to come close to me. She kind of stood like 10 feet away from me. But I guess she heard that I was out there. And so she came out to see me and she was on the phone. And when she saw me, she kind of like stopped. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Willie Yim said Michael Myers got a big butt. <sighs> Another butt comment. What? Clark Kent said Michael has been hitting those squats. What the hell? Does my butt look that big in, in these coveralls? Like, I don't, I didn't realize that it looked that big in these coveralls. <laughs> Spike, bad, bad rude man said, is the Trick or Treat Studios mask shit compared to the one you have? Yes, shit. Like literally shit. I mean, the Trick or Treat Studios mask is, uh, it's okay, I've seen it. But uh, when it comes to comparing the two, when it comes to movie quality and detail, there's no comparison. You gotta go Cemetery Gate Productions all the way. Like Trigger Street Studios has no, there's no, there's no comparison between the two. Go Cemetery Gate Productions before you go Trigger Street Studios if you want a good warlock mask. Seriously. Oh, my boy James Wilkinson said, woohoo, I'm the 1,000 subscriber. Thank you, buddy. I gave you a shout out on one of my videos before and I'm shouting you out again. I appreciate you, man, for, for being my thousand subscriber. Thanks, man. K-A-D-E said, well, at least he respects the disabled. <laughs> I did not show any respect to that kid at all. I just I just went all in for it. And the funny thing about it is that I didn't even realize that it was a disabled person until I heard him scream. And on the inside, like, I felt bad. I was like laughing, but I couldn't break character. So I just had to, I just had to go with it. And I wasn't gonna apologize. I'm fucking Michael Byers. What am I gonna say? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pranky Fun 666 says, Tiss is a fat and short Michael Myers. What? Okay, moving on to the next comment. Kimberly Timpson says, Man, I wish I saw you. I love Michael Myers. I would hug you. I love Michael Myers so much. It'd probably be the last thing you do, Kimberly. I do appreciate your enthusiasm. But you don't want to hug Michael Myers. He kills people. He's evil. Pure evil. You don't want to hug a guy like that. Live your life. Live your life. Don't hug serial killers. Don't do it. All right, and so for the last comment, We've got here, Garcia198, who said, since when the fuck does Michael Myers have small ass knife? <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't watch the Halloween movies because he would have known that it was a knife, number one, it was a scalpel, and number two, if you pay attention to detail, like a lot of you fine people have that made comments about it, that was a Halloween 2 version Michael Myers that I was portraying, and he carried a scalpel for the majority of the movie and not a knife. He had a knife in the very beginning, very briefly. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a lot of fun reading the comments. Like I said, there were so many of them, um, but there's a lot of comments. <laughs> and um, I plan on doing another one where I could read uh, comments from another video that I did. And also, um, if you guys really would like me to come to your town or come to your city, let me know. Like, make a comment below on this video and I request it. And um, like I said, I'll see if we could like get some donations going or something. And uh, yeah, and I would I would love to come to your city and uh, be Michael Myers, and you know it'd be a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much. I hope you're all having a great day. Have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. would you say if I shot you instead? I wouldn't say shit because Michael Myers doesn't talk, you dumb fuck. <laughs>